Tomorrow is my first day of anesthesiologist assistant school. I, I kind of can't believe that it's already here. It came up on me really, really quick, but today is Sunday. Tomorrow is Monday, my first day of orientation. Our orientation is, you know, a couple weeks long, especially on that first day. We're just going to be visiting various offices, getting all set up, getting badges and whatnot, making sure that we're able to get in and out of buildings in the hospital uh, without any problem. But especially on day two and for the rest of orientation, it's going to be pretty intense. I'll talk a little bit more about that later, but I'm definitely excited. I'm a little bit nervous, especially coming back into school. Like I've taken a gap year this last year. I really haven't taken any classes or really studied something in depth since the MCAT probably. So it's a little bit daunting thinking that I'm gonna have to remember exactly how to get back into my study habits, get back into the swing of things and remember what works best for me. Because I know in that first couple of weeks, there's gonna be a lot of really intense stuff thrown at me and I'm gonna have to remember how to study really, really quick. So it is a little bit nerve wracking, but I've done everything that I can possibly do to be ready. I've gone over over the different modules that my program's given me. I've memorized my drug card and, and I've done all those things. Um, so it's sort of been a way where I'm trying to balance doing those things and also balancing trying to relax. I know I talked about this in a previous video that everything that I've heard from practicing AAs, from student AAs, is that the best thing that you can do, especially leading up to the Star View program, is just relax and turn your brain off. So especially this last week, that's just what I've been doing. This last month since I uh, stopped working as an anesthesia tech, I've really gotten to sort of wind it down and get ready to wind back up even more. I got to run a marathon a couple weeks ago. That was a ton of fun. And just sort of do the things I want to do before my life is um, is pretty full, before my schedule is pretty packed with uh, anesthesia, with classes, with learning, with clinicals, with being in the hospital. And that's basically what I've been doing this last month. We, we also had a social with my classmates a couple weeks ago. That was so much fun getting to meet the people that I'm going to be spending a majority of my time with for the next two and a half years and even get to meet some of the classes above us and you know here's some of the tidbits that they've said has helped them through their parts of the program i really love my classmates i think i'm pretty blessed in our class that even in the short time that we've known each other we've gotten along so well and and i'm excited to kind of see you know we're going to go through a lot of hard stuff together hopefully hopefully we grow even closer and um, that helps us get through you know a pretty intense anesthesia program as you guys you've heard me say it again and again anesthesia school is, is no joke it's pretty intense where um, it's really easy in the beginning to feel like you know I'm gonna have everything memorized on day one but no one's expecting you to have everything all nailed down on day one there's going to be that period where you realize that there is a lot that you don't know and there's a lot that goes into anesthesia especially something complex like anesthesia that you're just gonna get used to it as you get more exposure to it. And I'm just kind of trying to embrace that, embrace that mentality of I'm not gonna know everything. And it's gonna be a long process of going to these lectures, learning in the hospital, learning in the operating room. And you know, all the senior students have said that they've chosen you guys because you can do it. They believe that you can do it. So take that if you've been accepted to anesthesia school and you're nervous about starting, just remember that you're, you're there, you've been accepted because admissions committees, because program directors, they think that you have what it takes to be, uh, you know, an amazing anesthesia provider. So hold on to that, cling to that, especially when you start to doubt yourself or maybe you don't feel as confident. Yeah, orientation starts tomorrow. I know the first day is a lot of visiting different offices, financial aid, diversity, equity, and inclusion. And then I know that on day two, we're going to start really hammering lectures. We're going to have different workshops, different labs, and that's when things are really going to start to ramp up. And I've heard from senior students that it's it's probably one of the most difficult times of the entire program is that first orientation period, because that's when you really start to see how much you really don't know. And a uh, lot's being thrown at you and they don't expect it all to stick, but um, you're just going to have to do the best with what you've got and they've said that if you really put in the work you put in the effort you study you're gonna be just fine and a lot of people you know they end up making it all the way through the program and don't have much of a problem so it is hard but you know they've chosen us because they think that we can do it now that we've got even a couple of exams our first couple weeks so it's a little bit nerve-wracking seeing that on the schedule but I know that that'll just help me improve and kind of see where I'm at in my learning. So yeah, and the senior students have been super helpful. I can see in their class that they've, that they've grown super close together. They love the faculty, they love the staff, they love working at the hospital. And they, they haven't been shy from telling me that there's gonna be times where you're gonna be second guessing yourself, it's gonna suck, but there's people around you and you've got the resources to be able to, to succeed. So yeah, it's here. Uh, I'm starting tomorrow and my life is gonna be a little bit different moving forward, especially for the next two and a half years. And that's kind of why I wanted to make this video and tell you guys that my channel is probably gonna look a little bit different it's it's a little bit odd having a YouTube channel in, in, in an anesthesia space, especially someone who hasn't even started school yet. It's kind of like I don't have the ethos of, of an actual provider. I'm hoping that as I work to become an anesthesiologist assistant, I learn more about the profession and I learn 
you know, what it takes to be a great AA. And I get to see this from a different lens and I can hopefully make higher quality videos, especially when I'm a practicing AA. I'm, I'm basically making this video to say at the, at, the, at the end of the day, channel content for the next two and a half years is probably gonna look a little bit different. You guys can probably already tell from this video, this is not as scripted, not as well edited as some of my other videos are. Hey everybody, real quick, I wanted to hop on here and tell you guys about True Learn. They have been partnering with me to make some of these videos. They are the gold standard for question banks, flashcards, practice exams for all sorts of board exams, especially if you are an AA student getting ready for the board exam. They are going to have a ton of different advanced analytics, advanced metrics to help you track your studying, track your progress, and make sure that you are feeling prepared for your board exam on exam day. So uh, if you want a discount on that exam and, and, and other exams, go use code Hayward. That's H-A-Y-W-A-R-D for a discount on the anesthesiologist assistant board practice package and other practice packages as well. Maybe you're a PA student, maybe you're an MDDO student, maybe you're a nursing student. They have a ton of different exams. At least just go and check it out because they will probably have something for you. So again, go check out TrueLearn. The other way, back to the video. You know, in previous videos, I've got like graphics on the screen and I'm throwing stuff up and I've got cool, you know, transitions. That's probably not gonna be quite what my videos are gonna look like for the next two and a half years. And, and maybe that changes, but I wanna leave that open because I know that school is really hard. I know that there's going to be a lot of times where I have a bunch of exams. I have time in the operating room and, cl and clinical hours that I've gotta be getting and uh, a lot of stress. That there is gonna be a lot of that. And this channel is definitely a way that I help, you know, kind of have a creative output to, you know, it's kind of like my therapy. I like to say that like running and making videos can be like therapy for me sometimes. So I definitely do want to keep making these videos. It just might look a little bit different. This is definitely a lower, lower quality video. I'm not putting a bunch of editing on this. I'm not having different graphics. So it will probably look a little bit different, but I think that it will still be interesting because you all will still get to see what it's like being a student anesthesiologist assistant. I think that that's really interesting. You wanna see what it's like, the day-to-day -day life of being a student, going to school, being in the operating room. And I'm hoping that I still make some content that shows you all what that looks like. And I don't exactly know entirely what it's gonna look like yet, but we're gonna play around with some things. We're gonna figure it out. And, and I definitely don't plan on, st uh, I definitely don't plan to stop uploading anything. I'm gonna keep making videos, maybe dabble around with shorts, maybe figure out different ways to squeeze in making videos into my schedule, but I just want to let you all know that. It will be different, but I think it will still be exciting because you're all going to get to see what it's like being a, uh, a student anesthesiologist assistant. And you know, there's just really not a lot of that on the internet, on you know YouTube, so that's about it. Just kind of getting on here, letting you guys know I'm starting school tomorrow. It's going to be very different, but I'm excited. Maybe, maybe if you guys have any ideas of what you would want to see, um, let me know in the comments. I know uh, one thing that I really am hesitant about is always like recording in the hospital. I know when I made my anesthesia tech video, I was super careful to do everything that I could to avoid HIPAA, to avoid logos, to avoid anything, you know? Um, and that's definitely like a landmine when you're in the hospital. So I wanna do my best to, you know, maintain professionalism and that probably will involve not recording as much of the fun stuff that most people would like to see, you know, put it, you know, putting stuff on YouTube, but I'll do my best with what I've got and I'll, I'll make sure that I can talk to the people that I need to talk to, to um, make this good, make this safe, make this professional, and still help all of you guys, you know, hopefully getting into anesthesia and becoming an anesthesiologist assistant. So that's all I want to say. Thanks for watching again, guys. And um, I'm excited to start anesthesia school. You all are going to be along for the ride. And um, yeah, maybe I'll post something tomorrow about my first day. But thanks again for watching. See you next one. Bye-bye.